Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing a major throwback on today's video and we're going to be using some Plasti Dip to completely get rid of the last bit of chrome that we have on my 2006 Ford F-150. If you guys remember, basically my YouTube journey, I consider it starting about a year ago when I used Plasti Dip to do a bunch of things to my truck, including blacking out the badge on my tailgate, and this badge on my tailgate, guys. This Plasti Dip job right here is over a year old and it still looks fantastic. I live in South Florida. This thing has been through hurricanes. This stuff has been through more rain than probably anywhere else in the country and it has held up great. So we are gonna completely finish the chrome delete on this truck. We're gonna chrome, not chrome. <laughs> We're gonna black out this chrome, this badge and this um, badge underneath it. Same thing on the other side. It's real easy and very inexpensive as well. I should be able to do this job with only one can of Plasti Dip and a little bit of blue painter's tape. Let's get started. All right, so step one is obviously, just like with anything, you're gonna want to have a completely clean surface. So I've already washed this down, wiped it off. It's completely dry. You definitely don't want any moisture on anything that you're gonna be uh, splaying, <laughs> spraying with Plasti Dip. So this thing has been washed off, it's been dried off, it's completely dry. We've put a little bit of masking tape around. A cool thing about Plasti Dip is you don't have to worry about like, like sanding down the surface or anything like that. Um, so basically once you've uh, washed it off and taped off the area, you are ready to spray. All right, so now that we're all prepped up and ready to go, got our can of Plasti Dip. The first coat should only be about 40 to 50% coverage, so don't go crazy with the first coat. So if you noticed right there, I came at it from a bunch of different angles. First, I just sprayed straight on, then I came at it from like an upper angle angle and worked my way left to right, and then I came over and worked my way right to left. I did so because you wanna make sure that you get Plasti Dip on the outside of these edges. If you just spray straight on, you won't be able to get in all the fine nooks and crannies and get all the sides, and you'll have random pieces of chrome sticking out everywhere, and you definitely don't want that. So now that the first coat is on, you're gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then you're gonna put a much heavier second coat on. All right, bring it over here and we'll spray the other side now. Now you notice I'm not going crazy as far as like masking off around the area. Um, I'm not really that worried about overspray because with this product it's rubberized peelable paint. So if any of it does get outside of the taped area, it's gonna be super easy. You can honestly just take like a microfiber towel or you could even just like take your shirt and just wipe it right off. It'll be very easy. Um, it's, oh man, it's looking good already guys starting to dry a little bit oh man this stuff just looks so good it's so it's like so inexpensive this stuff is like only a few bucks a can it goes a really long way and as you guys saw earlier when I showed you guys like the back of my truck it lasts for a really long time I absolutely love this product not sponsored in any way I'm just you know a quick tip for you guys at home um, this is be this would be a good thing to do like in between coats when you're waiting for it to dry. Make sure that the nozzle is completely cleared off before you go to spray again. So I like to take like a napkin and like wipe off any excess that might be in there because the last thing that you want is to start spraying again and get like a glob or something like that shoot on and it'll just completely mess up the job. So what I like to do in between coats, make sure the nozzle tip is clean, um, shake it that way you keep even pressure. And then before you start spraying, um, I'm just gonna spray like the ground a little bit just to like make sure that the fan is coming out even and everything like that. Um, and then you know that you're good to go to start spraying. If I'm honest, probably the hardest part about this project is like waiting in between coats for them to dry. Um, I'm not a very patient person. I'm not very good at just sitting around doing a lot of nothing. So this part's pretty annoying for me. 
All right, guys, so we've got the first few coats on. It is looking absolutely fantabulous. Yes, I just decided that that is a word. So I am going to be doing four coats per side. So we've got the first three on already, I think one. Yeah, we've gotten three done so far. So we got one more coat to do. We're just gonna peel um, the masking tape back, remove all the excess stuff, and show you guys what the finished product look like. looks like. I can't freaking speak today, man. All right guys, the final coat has been applied. It looks amazing. Now we've lost daylight pretty quickly here, so you guys really aren't gonna be able to appreciate just how good it looks. So the next clip that you guys are gonna see is gonna be the following morning when it's bright and sunny outside, and I will show you guys the before and the after pictures of what it looked like before I put on Plasti Dip and after I put on the Plasti Dip. Really the only thing that you guys aren't gonna see is me peeling this tape off and just kind of removing all the excess Plasti Dip around here. So. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. Um, if you guys are new, consider subscribing to my channel. We're almost at 1,000. We're gonna do a sweet giveaway when we get to 1,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, guys, enjoy the before and after footage. Thanks for watching.